Imagine standing on a cliff at night, staring into a sky so vast it swallows your thoughts. Stars glitter like distant promises, and you wonder, where did all this come from? What's out there, beyond what we can see? For centuries we've gazed upward, piecing together stories about the cosmos. But now, we're not just telling stories, we're uncovering truths that make the universe feel stranger, wilder, and more alive than we ever dreamed. Let's start with a moment that changed everything. About 13.8 billion years ago, the universe, as we know it sparked into existence. We call it the Big Bang, a name that sounds like a cosmic firecracker but was something far more profound. Picture it, an unimaginably hot, dense point, smaller than a single atom, erupting into a flood of energy, space, and time itself. It didn't explode into anything. It created the very stage where stars, galaxies would one day perform. But, here's Wilder that might not even be the beginning. Before the Big Bang, there was something something so bizarre it bends our minds like a paradox. Scientists call it cosmic inflation. Think of the universe as a tiny bubble of dough, smaller than the tip of your finger. In less than a trillionth of a second, it didn't just grow it ballooned, doubling in size at least 80 times, stretching into a vast expanse faster than you can imagine. It's like zooming out on a photo so fast that a speck becomes a continent, before you blink. This cold, empty vacuum, buzzing with a strange energy, set the stage for the Big Bang's heat and chaos. That energy morphed into matter, the stuff of stars, planets, eventually U.S. It's humbling, isn't it? Every atom in your body traces back to that fleeting, explosive moment when the cosmos decided to get creative. Now, how do we know this? Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's golden eye in the sky. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, it's not just a machine, it's a time traveler. Floating a million miles from Earth, its massive mirror, the size of a tennis court, catches whispers of light from the universe's infancy. This isn't just any light, it's infrared, invisible to our eyes, but glowing with secrets from stars, and galaxies born when the cosmos was a toddler, just a few hundred million years old. What it's showing us is rewriting the rules of everything we thought we knew. Let's paint a picture. Imagine a galaxy so far away that its light took 13.5 billion years to reach us. That's what Webb sees cities of stars that were already shining when the universe was barely out of diapers. But here's the kicker. Some of these galaxies are huge, way bigger than they should be for their age. It's like finding a fully grown tree in a nursery where you expected saplings. Scientists thought galaxies took billions of years to grow, merging clouds of gas and dust into sprawling cosmic metropolises. But Webb's images suggest the universe was in a hurry, building massive structures faster than our models can explain. Take NGC 346, a stellar nursery in a dwarf galaxy 200,000 light years away. It's a cosmic kindergarten where stars are born, and Webb's given us a front row seat. We used to think places like this were clean, just gas and young stars. But Webb revealed something unexpected. Dust, massive clouds of it, swirling like glitter in a snow globe. Dust isn't just debris, it's the raw material for stars and planets. This dust is so dense it's speeding up star formation. And here's the wild part. It might even be forming planets. Rocky worlds, maybe even ones like Earth, could have been born in these dusty cradles billions of years ago. That means planets and maybe life could be far older than we ever thought. This isn't just about stars and dust. Webb's discoveries are shaking the foundations of how we see the universe's birth. For decades we pictured the Big Bang as a single spark, a moment, when time and space began at one point. But now, thanks to Webb and other clues, we're rethinking that. The universe didn't explode into a void it created space itself, expanding everywhere at once. Imagine a loaf of bread rising in an oven, with raisins galaxies moving apart. As the dough swells there's no center, no edge, just endless expansion. And here's where it gets weirder. Our universe might be just one bubble in a frothy multiverse, an infinite sea of other universes with their own laws, their own stories. Let's pause on that. A multiverse. It sounds like science fiction, but it's rooted in quantum physics, where particles can pop into existence from nothing. If our universe sprang from a quantum hiccup in an infinite vacuum, why not others? Each could have different rules. Gravity might be weaker, light might move slower, or time might twist in ways we can't fathom. Our universe, with its precise balance of forces that let stars burn and life emerge, might be just one roll of cosmic dice. It's a thought that makes you feel small but also part of something impossibly vast. Now, let's talk about another mystery Webb's teasing out. Dark energy. Back in 1998, astronomers dropped a bombshell. The universe isn't just expanding it's speeding up. Galaxies are racing apart faster now than billions of years ago, pushed by an invisible force we call dark energy. It's like an unseen wind blowing through the cosmos, and we have no idea what it is. It makes up about 70% of the universe, yet we can't see or touch it. Webb's glimpses of the early universe might hold clues to how dark energy shaped the cosmos, maybe even hinting at its origins. Will it keep pushing forever, stretching the universe into a cold, empty void? Or could it shift, pulling everything 
back together. The stakes couldn't be higher. Another puzzle webs tackling is the universe's eerie uniformity. Look at the night sky, and the temperature of space is almost identical everywhere, even across billions of light. It's like finding the same warm breeze on opposite sides of the planet. How could regions so far apart be so similar? The answer lies in inflation. That split-second growth spurt smoothed out the universe, stretching tiny differences into a vast, even canvas. Without inflation, the cosmos would be a lumpy mess, not the elegant web of galaxies we see today. Web's images of ancient galaxies confirm this, showing a universe that was already surprisingly orderly in its youth. Let's zoom in on one of Webb's jaw-dropping moments, the first direct image of an exoplanet, a world orbiting a star beyond, our sun, picture a gas giant, glowing faintly in the dark, its light traveling across light years to reach us, or the Tarantula Nebula, a chaotic star factory where young stars blaze like fireworks. Then there's the Pillars of Creation, those iconic towers of gas and dust where stars are born, now revealed in stunning detail. These aren't just pretty, pictures their windows into the processes that built the universe, from the birth of stars to the seeds of planets. But here's where it gets personal, when Webb spots a dusty region like NGC 346 teeming with new stars and maybe planets, it's not just about the past, it's about us. If planets formed so early, life might have had billions more years to evolve elsewhere. Imagine civilizations on worlds older than Earth, watching their own skies, asking the same questions we do. Or maybe they're long gone, their stories etched in the light webs catching now. Either way it makes you wonder, are we alone or just one note in a cosmic symphony? Web's only been at it for a couple of years, but it's already outdone itself. Built over 25 years, it's 100 times more powerful than Hubble, its predecessor. It's not just seeing farther, it's seeing deeper. Into moments when the first stars flickered on, when galaxies were just clumps of gas and hope. Yet, Every answer it gives sparks new questions. Those massive early galaxies may be there, not galaxies at all but supermassive black holes, hiding in plain sight. Black holes are cosmic enigmas, gobbling up matter and bending space-time they formed so early, we need new physics to explain how. This is where science gets thrilling. It's not about having all the answers, it's about chasing the unknown. Every image Webb sends back is a reminder that the universe doesn't owe us clarity. It's a puzzle with no edges, no instruction manual, and yet, we keep piecing it, together. From ancient philosophers staring at the stars to scientists decoding Webb's data, we're driven by the same hunger to know our place in this vast, strange cosmos. Let's reflect for a second. The universe is 13.8 billion years old, but humanity's been around for just a cosmic blink. Our tools, like Webb, let us peer back almost to the beginning, but our minds struggle to grasp the scale. A light here is 6 trillion miles. Multiply that by 13.5 billion, and you're still nowhere near the edge if there even is one. Yet, here we are, tiny specks on a pale blue dot, building machines that catch light from the dawn of time. That's not just science, that's poetry. What's next for Webb? It's got years of work ahead, scanning the cosmos for more surprises. Maybe it'll find more clues about dark energy, or pin down how those early galaxies grew so fast. Maybe it'll spot chemical signatures in an exoplanet's atmosphere, hinting at life. Whatever it finds, it'll challenge us to think bigger, to question deeper. And that's the real gift of the cosmos. It keeps us curious keeps us humble, that's so. The next time you look at the night sky, think about this. Every star you see is a story, billions of years in the making, but the stars we can't see, the ones Webb's chasing, hold even bigger tales of a universe born in a flash, stretched by inflation, sculpted by dark energy, and maybe, just maybe, teeming with other worlds. We're part of that story, connected to the first atoms forged in the Big Bang's fire. And as long as we keep looking up, keep asking why, we'll keep writing the next chapter.